guys, how's it going? Um, do you like my hat? I put it on for you guys today. Um, today we're gonna do a very special video. Welcome to A Brief History of Tea. Yay! So, as you saw, I have made my tea. Here it is. It's steaming hot, so I can't drink it just yet. And I have some, uh, I guess you could call them biscuits, but uh, they're like little crackers and they have like apple stuff inside of them, so they're really good for like, drinking tea. I am drinking strawberry and raspberry tea from Twinnings. Welcome to A Brief History of Tea. Tea has been an important part of British culture for many, many years, hundreds and hundreds of years. It has influenced the country to become what it is today, and I can't imagine Great Britain without the influence of tea. Tea was not always readily available to everyone. At one point in time, it was a luxury only the rich could afford, and some people were even concerned that tea was bad for your health. All that aside though, who actually brought tea to Great Britain? The answer is Princess Catherine of Braganza, and I'll put a picture of her here, that's her. The Queen of Charles II. Princess Catherine had loved tea since her childhood upbringing in Portugal and subsequently brought tea to the royal court and began the great tea revelation of Great Britain. Eventually, tea drinking became popular among the middle class who helped to make the drink popular in London coffee houses. Most people who drank tea at these places though were uh, wealthy businessmen who went to these places to conduct business and to discuss the events of their day. At the time between 1660 and 1689, um, that tea that the, those men drank would not be able to be consumed today because it was brewed in the morning and then stored in barrels and reheated throughout the rest of the day. And this was because of the taxation process. They would have to make the tea in the morning and then tax it and then um, from there like serve the tea throughout the rest of the day. So the tea wasn't always fresh, it wasn't always good. Um, and that changed after tea was able to be bought and sold in loose leaf form. The taxation changed from um, liquid form to leaf form. Um, so they were able to tax by the leaf instead of by the barrel. After that, tea became a lot more fresh and a lot healthier. So as tea began being sold in loose leaf form, it was able to be consumed by more women who did not frequent coffee houses very often. Though the tea had become more readily available, it was still rather expensive. So. It only entered the homes of the wealthier people. These women would get together with their friends, they would dress up, uh, they would use their, set out their best china pots and all their little cups and um, have their servants make special little cakes and things and have tea parties with their friends. Um, and of course this was more of the wealthier people, the high class society, and they did this quite often actually because they enjoyed it so much. The, this idea of women dressing up to have tea parties is where the traditional uh, vision of tea comes from that we think of like tea, you know, you have tea parties and you have all your little scones and cakes and everything and that's, that's where it comes from because people actually did it. Uh, but of course it was the wealthier people who did it. Uh, more popular in this time were black and green teas, and sugar as a sweetener was also very popular, but it was just as expensive as buying loose leaf tea, so again, only the wealthier were able to buy it. The price of tea fluctuated with taxes. This meant that the majority of British people could not consume the tea because it was often very expensive. However, this did not stop the British from enjoying tea. Though it was expensive and they were not able to consume it often, the middle and lower classes of Great Britain consumed tea as much as they could. Um, they had it for special occasions, you know, big events. In the 18th century, smugglers helped bring the cost of tea down. Smugglers began bringing in duty-free tea, which could be sold much more cheaply than legally bought tea. Though many smugglers could be and were ruthless, a lot of people wanted tea so badly that they decided to ignore this. By the later 18th century, it was believed more tea was smuggled in than bought legally in Great Britain. Two effects came about because of this. One, the price of tea went down greatly. Two, the enthusiasm of tea spread from the bigger towns and cities to the rural parts of the country. By 1785, the government was basically forced to cut the duty on tea, making it much more cheaper and accessible. This virtually wiped out all smuggling efforts overnight. Though this made tea much cheaper, there was still a myriad of other problems going on with the tea market. People would use plants from other teas, reuse leaves that were already brewed, add colors and chemicals to make the tea look a certain way, and much more. Though tea was gaining a great deal of popularity, people from the upper class 
were concerned about tea drinking amongst the middle and lower classes. They claimed that tea drinking was not beneficial for your health and that the lower classes should not drink tea. This was mostly due to snobbery and the belief that the poor lived to serve the rich. Throughout this time period, there were many books that, and articles that came about arguing the advantages and disadvantages of drinking tea. Ultimately, it was decided that tea is actually quite beneficial for your health and because of this, more tea and coffee houses opened up in the 17th century. In the 19th century, tea rooms and tea shops became popular amongst women who were now able to go out more and do things on their own. So guys, that's just a brief history of tea. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I learned a lot from this, even though that was really, really short. If you want to learn more about the history of tea and where it came from and stuff like that, you can go to this website that I'll post right here. Um, it's www.tea.co.uk slash a slash a dash social dash history. That's all I got for this segment and there's gonna be more to the video. Um, tonight's Taco Tuesday so I'll see you guys in a bit. Something really crazy just happened. Um, there was only four of us in our flat, all girls, so it's very nice. And now we have six and we have two guys. Comfort level has just gone. <laughs> we'll see what happens though. They seem pretty nice. I'll update you later. 